as a tag team muscle and as a singles competitor, ever dangerous. Absolutely, and uh, Purple Shirt, that shovel has a name. Come on. We know this match is going to be nasty, but will it be as nasty as the announcement we just heard? Fortune Baby at three. July 26th back at Fortune Bay Casino. Cannot wait to be back third year in a row. Shovels and axes, and uh, we'll see what Sin Bodhi brings down to the ring. Oh my goodness. War shredding his way to ringside. <laughs> Faces here on the card, some old favorites, but certainly some opportunities for wrestlers to stake their claim to move up the rankings. And well, this one will be really interesting as well, just for the mere fact that the multiple falls, the elimination style, but the weapons. We could see, and we've already seen a bucket of blood, you know just be spilled in the ring. After that heinous attack on Mitch Paradise. What happens when one of these three behemoths gets their hands on a weapon and decides to use it? Now, all three men looking, but Joey Avalon and Heavy Metal Lore, not really quite sure what to make of Sin Bodhi. It looks like they may want to uh, start off maybe trying to eliminate the X Factor in this match. I think that would be smart I, to... To get rid of him in order to bring it to, to something they're, they're more accustomed to. And if they can, if they can team up to eliminate Sin Bodhi here, um, will there be an opportunity? Oh, oh Lord, absolutely getting ju just struck. I did not see that coming. Joey Avalon, Sin Bodhi teaming up against Heavy Metal Lord. Hey, guess what? Settle for nothing once again being unfairly treated in Heavy On Wrestling. What a surprise. Well, you got to think, Joey Avalon is an opportunist. He sees Simbodi coming in. <laughs> and says that's a kisser prime for punching. There will be no open fists tonight here in this Carnival of Horrors match. It's going to be blow for blow. Maybe one of the biggest matches in Heavy On Wrestling history. Oh, a quick cover. One, two. Oh. Did he get Wait. a three? Oh. Wow, Avalon gets a three. Zimbody on the roll up. Ladies all and three gentlemen, men get a football. And all three men get a weapon, weapon. King. You know, in, in reality here, does it even behoove you to kick out of a situation like that? Much like in a two out of three falls match in Mexico, you know, taking that fall to prevent injury and just so you can get to the next baller, in this case, so you can get to a weapon. And now it's a foot race to the outside as all three men going out. Oh. Joey Avalon with his beloved shovel. What other accoutrement do we see underneath the ring? Oh, what? Is that what looks is like a thumbtack or a snack bag? Sour Patch Kids? Oh, that oh. chain. war has got a chain. Shades of the Dr. Thug Thugonomics. What does Sin Bodhi have? <laughs> Joey Avalon, a mighty swing there of his shovel. Oh! I don't know what he has in his hands there. He dropped whatever it was. Avalon has dropped his shovel and Laura's dropped his chain. So we're now back at an even playing field for all three men. And it is just absolute carnage as they are just 
rushing into each other, block, oh, slam! Cemetery Gates! Off the bat, is this going to be just goal? should let him take the pinfall there. Should he? If, the, if this is two out of three falls, I don't, I, I've never witnessed a Carnival of Horrors match. I'm not even sure what kind of carnage is going oh. to this. Oh, Greco-Roman back rake there by Sin Bo D. Oh, rolling his hair up like Tony oh. and drop. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong guy to headbutt. And again, heavy metal lore unfazed. Look at how big Lore oh, looks. Oh, oh. Sin Bodhi, not a small man, but Lore just dwarfing him. Oh, and another head much to Joey Avalon. This Heavy is, metal Lore. Is this not the strongest we've seen Lore look in some time? I, you know, I think that Lore oftentimes gets undersold with the way that Settle for Nothing is treated here and heavy oh. on wrestling. But there is no denying that he is an absolute force of nature. You don't take headbutts like that from someone as big as Sin Bodhi, someone who's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with people in WWE and be able to absorb that impact and then dish it right back out. Oh, and now wow. Joey Avalon and Sin Bodhi tagging up on Heavy Metal Lore, just wrenching that neck. What is... Oh! Sin Bodhi has a lovely bunch of coconuts, and he'd like to show... Whoa. We're not going for a pin, I guess. I'm completely perplexed. I mean, maybe somebody wanting to make a statement. Oh! <laughs> a self choke slam there into a pseudo senton and heavy metal lower. What kind of crazy thoughts are going through that man's head? One, two. You know, I think you 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 can't even imagine the insanity that is going on in somebody's head right now. I, and I think that's what makes him so absolutely dangerous, is he's unhinged. You just can't anticipate offense like that. Joey Jet Avalon, oh, whipping him off the ropes and a big back elbow for his troubles and a cover, one, two. Lore able to come in and break it up. I, to the best of my understanding, King, and, and, and please correct me if, <laughs> if I'm wrong, is it the next pinfall that is going to, from your understanding of this Carnival of Horrors match, the next pinfall will be I, the deciding factor? I, mean, I think that that's why they are breaking it oh, up and not just letting something like that happen. I, I think so. I'm a little unsure. Simbody stomping on ankles and fingers. Hey, there's no disqualifications there, in this match. I mean, he can do everything is legal. Everything he does is just dangerous. Oh, he's oh. going to tie his arm to that, that top rope there. Very, very smart move here. Then it becomes a one-on-one -on -one matchup, ostensibly. I honestly thought that we were going to see him go ahead and use that to choke. Oh, and he's not just leaving him in there. He's using that to stretch that shoulder, maybe separate that shoulder. That's a submission hold in a match like this. Again, terrifying offense from Sin Bodhi, from the twisted mind of Sin Bodhi. I think the thing he's got to be careful for is those weapons are available on the outside to Joey Avalon. And there you see he's got a shovel. Oh. But Lore able to, oh my oh. God. How is Lore able to do that? But he's in a bad position. He can't get, oh, he's out. Big kick to the face from heavy metal. Lore. Oh. <laughs> We talk about the Warlord of Weird and his sick offense, but look at Joey oh, Avalon. Sick on that shovel. Kick. One, two. Oh, but Bodie in to break it up. Like a missile. Oh, gosh. Every time he stops in those ankles and calves, just taking any ability to have stability in the body there. Oh, and here comes a shovel. Joey Jet Avalon using that to choke him out. But he's getting back into heavy metal lore territory. Oh, flips him all the way through. Avalon still holding that shovel. Beautiful. Big cross body from Lore. Oh. Ooh. Only a two count there from Jay Saltis. Saltis was was real close on that one. A shovel handles away from victory. Heavy metal lore is looking to close the cemetery gates on one of these two men. It's not just one man. He's going to try to choke slam both of them, dragging oh, the, the waters. Power. Joey Jet Avalon's face says it all. He is completely stunned. Simbo D looks what like he's convulsing, but I Lore needs to get the pin. I think he's beyond that. I think that he'll get the pin when he has taken both of these men out to his liking.
He will settle for nothing less than a double KO. And then, oh, a, a fist full of chains there. Like Bruiser Brody wrapping that hand in a chain. Oh, man. Or maybe even more abruptly, if he hits that clothesline, we could see something very much like like one of the Koloffs, maybe a, a Russian lariat or a sickle. Oh, just grinding oh. that on the skull of Sin Bodhi, trying to open him up. Joey Avalon going in to get another piece in heavy metal lore, just shaking hands with his face and now wrapping that around like a hangman's noose. The Warlord of Weird is fighting for consciousness right here as Heavy Metal Lord continues to tighten that around his neck. Oh no! Oh, is he gonna try to hang him? Oh no! Don't do it! Oh gosh! Hey, this is what Sin Bodhi asked for and Heavy Metal Lord is giving him all that he can handle. This is maybe not what Clyde had in mind when they invited Heavy on. Oh! oh! Shovel shot from Joey Avalon. Heavy Metal Lord never saw it coming and a cover Oh. How did Simboni, how did he break that up? I, I don't know if he's even regained his oxygen flow. I don't know if he's human. Set him up double for the DDT. Spins out of it. Oh. oh. Joey Avalon setting him up. No, another reversal. And they stare each other down. Oh. oh. They blocked it up a close on attempt. And again, going after heavy metal lore. Hey, the biggest man on the playground. You gotta go out there and punch him in the face. Double body slam. But both of them are so tired. Did you notice they had trouble getting Lore turned all the way through? I mean, Joey, Joey Avalon went down to one knee afterwards. And he's still down on one knee. Sin Bodhi finally grabbing that mysterious object, whatever it is. Oh. Gleeful. I think that you were right, King. I think that we've got, oh. Gummy bears? What the? Jelly beans? Oh, keep them away from those licorice. That is inhumane. <laughs> Joey Avalon looks looks perplexed, but willing to participate. Lore up again. Oh no. Doesn't want any part of those jelly beans. Oh, ducking the double clothesline. Oh, oh. low bridge lore out to the floor. Sin Bodhi and Joey Avalon exchanging huge right hands here. But Lord getting him some and carrying both people out to the outside. Oh! Ooh. Throwing right into that steel. Oh, man. This one was billed as being chaos, and it has been nothing short of that. They got to watch that they're not slipping on those jelly beans. Exchanging big right center of the ring. Oh. Avalon with a headbutt. Big kick, super kick. That is a big man delivering that shot and he's going for the shovel again. This could be it if he connects. Oh, oh. this is Sin Bodhi. Double on DDT. Right on the jelly beans. One, two, three, that's it. Stunning victory by Sin Bodhi. Hey, when you call for a Carnival of Fours match, you know that when you're getting in the ring with Joey Jet Avalon and Heavy Metal Lore, you are asking to make a statement. And when you can live up to that, maybe Sin Bodhi does have a place here in Heavy on Wrestling. Well, you know about two of the biggest, two of the baddest men, and they brutalized him. And he just seemed to enjoy it. Wow. That was absolutely wild, dear. And see Bodhi conducting a dark orchestra of we said fans. Oh. Oh. You gotta save a couple of judges. Yeah. He's gotta get those uh, glucose numbers back up after a win like that. What a sick bastard. Did you see he specifically looked and found black jelly beans? There is no one more heinous right now. I don't know if you cut earlier, dude, but after pinning Avalon, he put a jelly bean in his mouth like pennies on the eyes, paying to ferry you across the river Styx. Sin Bodhi going around, making friends and influencing here at Heavy on Wrestling on his way out. Uh, folks, we've got a couple more fantastic matches for you. The Boogeyman taking on Josh Price. 